what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop mana and I'm going to start a more complicated version of that. And this is going to use things to try and man in the middle encrypted communications. Uh, now, what mana is doing is it's spoofing any networks this is asking for. So if you actually went to other and typed in any network of your choice, you can give it any name. All right. If you tried to join that, join any network. So it's joined any network. If you were to turn your Wi-Fi off and back on, it should join any network again. So that's part of what MANA does at a Wi-Fi level. It tries to um, fool a phone into connecting to networks, making the phone think that it's in range of a, one of its normal networks. Mm. OK, so that's now connected. And it's doing a bunch of tricks to try and defeat SSL. So if we loaded up something like the Facebook app, it still wouldn't work. Uh, if we went to the Twitter app, it wouldn't work, because those things are using certificate pinning. But things like browsers are not as robust. So if you go to a website like touch.facebook.com, so that's their, their iPhone version, what you'll notice, OK, I'm seeing the request here, is it should redirect you to a page called webtouch.facebook.com. All right, now, webtouch.facebook.com, if you went to in your own browser, does not exist. This is, has created this fake domain to try and bypass something called HSTS. HTTP strict transport security. So by inventing a new domain like WebTouch, we can keep the browser from upgrading to SSL. So it's not that Facebook hasn't implemented SSL. It's that this thing is talking SSL to Facebook and then talking clear text to the phone to prevent this from ever going encrypted. So if you try to log in, um, you can log in with your account if you'd like, but you probably <laughs> want to log in with a fake account. So I've now got those credentials because it's in the clear. So I'm going to have a look at SSL strips log. Now, I know that Facebook passes its username and passwords with a parameter called pass equals. So if I search for that, I can see email address, Jan Vermeulen, pass, super secret, pass it ord. Your spelling is impeccable. Um, hypothetically, if that was a use, uh, an actual username and password, I would have it. Now, of course, this is a somewhat contrived example for a phone because you're more likely to use the app. However, if you're using a laptop, it's not that contrived an example. Additionally, there are some attacks in MANA, which won't go into now, where you could push a malicious certificate. Phones in particular make it too easy to install a malicious certificate, from which I could then issue uh, legitimate SSL-looking certificates that the phone would trust. Um, and so for mobile devices, that's a more successful approach.